How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Gift card scams are pretty rampant these days and today I like to explain how exactly it is done, how they are able to scam people out of their money. This video is brought to you by Webull. Don't forget to get your two free shares of stock just for signing up and depositing $100. And as you guys know, I bought a lot of Dogecoin and now you can also buy Dogecoin as well on Webull. Check out my referral link down in the video description below. First of all, I like to explain, I buy a lot of gift cards because I have a grandfathered credit card, the Sears MasterCard. You can no longer get this anymore, but I get anywhere between 10 to 15% cash back on this card. And it's not only this card that you can get it. I got another targeted offer, the BBVA Signature Visa credit card, and I get a 10% cash back on up to uh, $500. This is a $50 cash back. So now we might wonder how can you get this for yourself as well? I personally hold roughly 20 to 24 credit cards or so, and at any given time, there's always some sort of really great deal that comes my way. So because I have such a large cache of credit cards, um, I can just pick and select the best of the best and just get the most cash back from those credit cards. Now, in order to explain why I buy lots of gift cards, it's because they require you to spend in a certain category. For example, the Sears one, they need me to spend it in either gas, groceries, or restaurants. So if I want to spend it anywhere else, the thing I do is I go to a grocery store and right there, I get 10 to 15% off, right? And then I buy Visa gift cards or master uh, credit cards. These preloaded uh, MasterCard or Visa gift cards, you have to pay a small fee. And I then use these cards on every other aspect of my life. Insurance, parking meters, or you know, Grubhub, anything that is not categorized under a category, uh, maybe even fast food or whatnot. And then, because I'm using a credit card that has a really high percentage cash back already, and by translation, I get a really high cash back as well. Now to explain how this fraud actually works. I've already used this credit card already. They first obtain a gift card like this. Possibly it could not be sealed already. It might be slightly open and how they obtain this, I don't know, maybe they have a store somewhere and they're able to purchase these. Maybe they have a connection within the place that manufactures these and somehow they just mistakenly forget to put a little bit of glue on the top edge over here. And this gives them access inside so they can take the uh, gift card out. Then they photocopy this barcode area. Put another dummy Visa or MasterCard, it doesn't really matter what it is, just as long they have some sort of piece of plastic in there. And they put the photocopied barcode in here, they put it back into this little cardboard case thing and it appears like it's not open, but they're able to put it through the hole at the top. So then they go around sealing it again and then they have this gift card that has a fake barcode in the back and they already have the credit card numbers from the Visa or MasterCard uh, from the one that they stole. So what happens is an, an expecting consumer goes to the store, they pick this off off the shelf, and they didn't know that it was tampered with because it looks perfectly legitimate. You know, nothing has been tampered with. And then the grocery store clerk, they open up this little perforation thing revealing the barcode, but the barcode has been photocopied. It is a fake one of a credit card that is with someone else. So you go and pay for this. You don't know that the little piece of paper inside has been photocopied because it looks perfectly legitimate. No one goes around inspecting it. You pay for it. You go out of the store. Maybe you're giving it to someone else. Maybe you're using it yourself and then you just let it sit there for a while. In the meanwhile, whoever has original Visa or Master gift card has all those numbers. They have the physical card with them. And once they notice that it has been loaded with money because you purchased it at the grocery store, then they go and spend it, you know, at Home Depot or basically anywhere because it's a Visa or Master gift card. Now for the fraudster to make this efficient, they have to plant this and make sure someone buys it, maybe within the day or something. So they would go online. There is a website on this gift card. As soon as it's loaded with money, they would know. So perhaps every single day they go online and they punch in the numbers and they check the balance on this card. Once 
there is a balance that's loaded on there. Then they'll be like, oh, 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 okay, great. There's money. Let me go out there and spend this right away. They can go to a Target. They can go basically anywhere where you can use a credit card. They can even buy stuff online. But most likely they don't want to send stuff to their home because this is going to leave a paper trail. Most likely they want to do it during this pandemic because they can put a mask on because even if they use the security cameras, they have um, the mask on, it won't reveal their face. And basically they can take the goods away that they purchase with this uh, gift card. And I guess they're home free. So I make this video not to give people ideas on how to do the fraud themselves, but rather how to prevent a consumer uh, from buying a fraudulent gift card. So the thing that you can do, of course, is to make sure that the little window over here is not a photocopy. So what you can do is go and look at this little piece of plastic. And if you kind of just rub your nail over it, the lettering is very, very durable. See, I can do it right now. And none of the lettering is coming off because it's kind of like printed on plastic. And so if it's a printed piece of paper, um, you can most likely spot it just by looking at it if you have some practice. But if you don't have any practice, you can take your nail and kind of scrub it a little bit and to see if it's actually a, a, a photocopy of a gift card. The other thing I noticed is that they had to have some kind of gift card that have access to it because this gift card is actually tamper proof. It has perforations all along here and along this edge is actually a fold in the paper. So if you kind of look carefully, make sure that, you know, they didn't take a knife and try to open it and try to re-glue it back together. And if you actually try to rip this open, you can see it just kind of breaks apart over here. See, it kind of breaks apart. And if it breaks apart, you can see that it's been tampered with. It looks kind of torn apart a little bit. So for the fraudster to make this work, somehow they were able to obtain a gift card that hasn't been sealed already. And um, I definitely feel like this is some kind of inside job. Someone is at a producer of these cards and somehow the people working at the places that makes these gift cards, they are diverting maybe a huge box of this that hasn't been glued. So then they take a big sack of this and I guess they can just take this and just re-glue it themselves and it's gonna look perfectly legitimate. It's gonna look perfectly sealed. So one way to tell, but it is not 100% guaranteed is to look along the perforations to see if it was uh, properly glued. I wouldn't rely on that because they can certainly, you know, just glue it much better next time. Uh, so the best way to figure out if it's uh, real or fake is to open up the back perforation and just kind of, you know, uh, use your nail and kind of scrape it a little bit. Another good way is if you're buying it for yourself, open it up right after you buy it because right after you open it up, you're going to see that there's going to be like a little piece of paper in there. And if you notice that right away, you can stop this fraud almost immediately. You can just go back to the store or open it right after you buy it at the store. And if you notice this, then you can get a refund. They can give you a new one right away. Don't forget to share this video, like it, uh, bring up the stats on this video so that more people know about it. And as always, don't forget to check out my sponsor, Webull, and get your two free shares of stock. Like this video and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.